unfortunately, we can't get blue skies to match the big blue madness going on right now. I know, I wish we could. It'd be nice to have that forecast. But I tell you what we are seeing this morning, if we take a look at our hazard cam outside the WMT studios, the sun trying to make a brief appearance. Mm -hmm. It's out ahead of the clouds. Let's take a look at it. And you can see it off of the distance where we are seeing just a little bit of light trying to show up there this morning. There it is. And you see it uh, there giving you a little bit of optimism for the first part of your day. Unfortunately, yes, I had to say unfortunately, that blue sky, that nice condition is not going to last for very long. You already see the clouds starting to move in there a little bit. And as we go over to live pinpoint Doppler radar, there it is. There's the rain off of the distance. And I'm watching this band out here to the west because there are a few thunderstorms starting to fire up in it. Again, we're not expecting anything too crazy today, but some of these storms could get a bit on the stronger side, especially this afternoon. So we're going to watch those for you and keep an eye out for them throughout the day and see how they play out. Temperatures very mild this morning. 58 Jackson, Campton, West Liberty, Sayersville, 59 Paintsville, Prestonsburg, Pikeville, 58 Hindman, Hazard, and Hyden, 57 Elkhorn City and Whitesburg. On down the road we go. You see the rain just off just to the west of Liberty going through Campbellsville now up toward uh, Harrodsburg and Lexington, Richmond just on the uh, eastern side of that this morning and temperatures across the west from 58 in London to Williamsburg the same, Barberville at 58, or excuse me, yeah, Barberville 58, 59 in Somerset and Mount Vernon, 58 in McKee, 55 in Pineville, 53 Harlan and Middlesbrough. Sometimes my, my brain second guesses what it's, my mouth has said, so I have to kind of look at it again. Bus stop forecast for you this morning. Temperatures running right around 60, give or take a degree or two. 68 by this afternoon. We'll probably top out actually right around 69 before things start to fall with the rain chances coming into play. I do think that's going to happen probably right around lunchtime, the bulk of the rain. I think we could see a few showers out in advance of that coming into play this morning, especially for those western counties. But the way this front is tilted, most of this would kind of stay away from us for a little while longer uh, before all this starts to get in here. But once that front starts to push through, you're going to notice lots of changes with the temperature. There's kind of that leading edge we've been showing you this morning right there. Some thunderstorms possible on the leading edge of that. So we're going to watch this and see how it plays out. Future view keeping it away for a little while, trying to keep it away until about uh, 12 or 1 o'clock this afternoon. I do believe it's going to push in here a little earlier than that, but as we go deeper into the daytime hours, you see the temperatures start to fall, and you see there overnight, a little pink and blue trying to show up, indicating the possibility for a little bit of mixing coming into play. I do think, though, by the time we even get close to being cold enough, I think we'll stay in the mid to upper 30s, by the time we get close to being cold enough for that, we will be in a situation where it's mostly in Virginia. So if you're right there along the Kentucky-Virginia border, the possibilities are on the table that you could see a little bit, but I'm not a whole lot of confidence in that overnight. Temperatures will go up and then go down as that cold front comes through, putting the shower chances on there right around lunchtime, but I think it could start a little earlier in some of those western counties. And as we go through the next couple of days, we're going to keep those in play from 69 to 45 in that three-day forecast. But I do think we could see a small chance for some showers or a snowflake or two tomorrow evening. Models back and forth on that one, so we're going to continue to monitor that. We clear out by Saturday and Sunday. Late chance to come back and play on Monday, but temperatures back close to 70 by this time next week. Fourth and final check of the refrigerator this morning. So we have for you there behind the magnets on refrigerator art. Nice little picture coming into us from Cali over at Hyman Elementary School. Beautiful spring scene. We appreciate that. Appreciate all the nice pictures we get to showcase here on the morning news. Time is 649. You're watching Mountain News this morning right here on WIMT.